The big news over the past week for Lions fans was that on Wednesday, November 27th, Hendon Hooker was activated and participated in his first NFL practice. It is funny that Hendon Hooker is activated after Goff has back-to-back -back really bad games. Obviously, these aren't correlated. I don't think they are. I don't think anyone thinks that Hendon Hooker is only being activated because Goff has been playing bad, but it is quite funny. In this video, I want to talk about the long-term plans for the Detroit Lions quarterback room. If you look at Jared Goff's contract, he is this year with the Lions, next season, and then after that, he's going to be a free agent and for brad holmes and the lions i think there's really only two options there re-sign jared goff or go with hendon hooker and it's a tough decision last year i was saying that we're going to re-sign goff now i'm not as sure and i'm not as sure as if i would want that it's a tough decision though you look at all the quarterbacks in the league and it seems like good quarterbacks aren't super easy to come by there's a lot of teams that are still trying to find a viable quarterback or their franchise quarterback the patriots are stuck with two bad quarterbacks jordan love wasn't playing the best but he just showed up desmond ritter isn't the best Derek Carr even isn't the best on the saints the titans are struggling benching Tannehill for will levis the panthers are struggling with bryce young but there has been a lot of injuries to quarterbacks this season so i feel like that might be a little reason why i feel like the level of play with quarterbacks is a little low aaron Rodgers, cousins both out anthony richardson is out but for the current state of nfl quarterbacks jared goff is definitely in the upper half i know a lot of lions fans including me get upset when jared goff makes mistakes but he's still a solid quarterback in the league right now that is also if he can turn it around after this two game slump I compare Jared Goff to the rest of the quarterbacks in the league because some people just want to get rid of Jared Goff. Some Lions fans see he makes mistakes, they get upset, they want to get rid of him. But you don't want to be too quick on your decision because Jared Goff is still valuable, he's still solid, and what if Hendon Hooker doesn't work out? If you look at how Jared Goff has played over the past three years with the Lions, including this season, first season was rough, but the Lions really didn't have much of a supporting cast whatsoever. They only won three games. Nothing really to talk about. Last season, he brought the Lions back from 1-6, led one of the best offenses in the league last season. He also got really hot in the second half of last year, led the Lions to an 8-2 record, and didn't throw a pick through the last nine games. Now looking at this season, Goff started off the season all right against Kansas City. Didn't have an amazing game, but it was pretty good. Then over the next five games, he would lead the Lions to a 5-1 record, with great performances against all the teams then we get to week seven against baltimore and golf struggled i mean he wasn't accurate he was under pressure a lot and golf struggles when he's under pressure was not accurate with the deep ball had a bad deep ball interception he bounced back week eight against vegas and had a great game against the chargers and then chicago and green bay last week is when it kind of started to fall apart against chicago had three picks could have had four the Bear defender dropped a 99-yard pick six, but he did still come in and lead the Lions to back-to-back -back scores to win the game late in the fourth quarter. Last week in Green Bay, didn't have any picks, but had two really bad fumbles. One of them, he just dropped on contact. No one even touched the ball, and he wasn't the best against Green Bay. Golf has a few weaknesses to me. Number one is that he needs a clean pocket. If Golf is under pressure, he's not able to scramble. He's not able to avoid the pressure. He's just going to take a sack. It's not his fault, but he's just not mobile whatsoever. And that kind of leads me into my second weakness is that he can't scramble. Uh, there can, sometimes there's a lane there. And I feel like Goff won't scramble for the first down because he's just not used to scrambling at all. And my last weakness with Goff is that I, I don't know what it is, but it seems like every game or at least every other game, Goff is just prone to having one really... <laughs> terrible mistake that just leaves your jaw drop and leaves you in disbelief because you just can't believe how bad of a ball he just threw or how bad of a pick he just threw last week against the packers on thanksgiving it was the fumble he just dropped it i feel like golf is prone to just making silly mistakes sometimes some other things i don't love about golf is his deep ball he can throw it that's why i didn't really say it's a weakness because he can throw it but i don't think he's really good at it 
or super consistent with throwing deep balls to people like Jameson Williams. The last thing I have to say about things that aren't the best about Goff is sometimes it seems like he gets in these games, he doesn't start out very well, he gets kind of in a slump and he just can't come back from it. Now, against Chicago, he did come back from it. Against Seattle, he threw a pick six. He still came back from it and led touchdown and scoring drives after that. But sometimes, like against the Ravens and it seemed like against Green Bay, he just could not shake it. If Goff continues to struggle like he has the last two games and just gets into this slump and it carries into next season and the Lions don't win a playoff game, I would be all for putting in Hendon Hooker and not re-signing Goff. Now, if he still plays good, this has the occasional bad game, I think it'll be an interesting decision. Because watching Hendon Hooker at Tennessee, he has a cannon of an arm, super accurate, can throw the deep ball, probably be great paired with JMO. And maybe Hendon Hooker would take the Lions to an elite status team because you need a solid quarterback like Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts to be that super strong team and maybe if we if Hendon Hooker could be that guy for us and take the Lions to the next level and make us look really strong and be strong. If I had to make a prediction right now if the Lions will re-sign Goff or not, I would probably say that the Lions w will if we win a lot of playoff games and Goff looks really good in the playoffs. But if Goff this season doesn't win a playoff game and next season doesn't win a playoff game, I think there's no chance we re-sign him. That would also be devastating if the Lions can't win a playoff game this year because it's most likely going to be a home playoff game at Ford Field. If the Lions can't win a playoff game this season, I'm going to die. Some people also complain about Hendon Hooker's age. He's 25. Goff is 29. And after next year, it'll be 26 and 30. Kirk Cousins is 35, so it gives you some perspective on how many more years would Goff be able to play in the NFL. He could probably play for a while longer and still be very efficient. My guess, though, is that Brad Holmes has no idea what he's going to do with Goff right now. I think it's very dependent on how he plays for the rest of the season, in the postseason, and next regular season. I also heard someone mention that we should trade for a quarterback. We should trade for Justin Herbert. I really like that idea. I mean, the Chargers, they stink. I hate Brandon Staley. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Brandon Staley and the Chargers will never win anything. Chargers will never win a playoff game until Brandon Staley is gone. Can't blow a 27 to nothing lead in the playoffs and then expect to win a playoff game. Yeah, Justin Herbert would be amazing. Insane arm with our offensive line and our run game. I mean, Austin Eckler is fine. The Chargers don't really have like a strong run game though. With our run game, our wide receiver core, J-Mo, the deep ball, it'd be amazing. For some of the people that wanted to trade for Lamar Jackson and get Lamar in Detroit, I understand where you're coming from now. I might have been a little bit wrong on that. I said no, but now watching him how Lamar is throwing the ball this season, that's kind of amazing. But in my defense, hindsight is 2020. I didn't know he'd be throwing the ball that good this season. I don't think anyone really expected that much of a change with Lamar. Anyway, let me know what you think the Lions should do or will do in the future with Hendon Hooker, Jared Goff, possible trades, possible drafting. Let me know in the comment section below. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed my content, I'd really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching.